Of course that's your Hang contention. On, You're a first year grad student. You just got finished reading some Moxian historian, P. Garrison probably. You're gonna be convinced of that till next month when you get to James Lemon. Then you're gonna be talking about how the economies of Virginia and Pennsylvania were entrepreneurial and capitalist way back in 1740. That's gonna last until next year. You're gonna be in here regurgitating Gordon Wood, talking about, you know, the pre-revolutionary utopia and the capital forming effects of military mobilization. As a matter of fact, I won't because Wood drastically underestimates the impact Wood of social distinctions. Wood drastically underestimates the impact of social distinctions predicated upon wealth, especially inherited wealth. You got that from Vickers. Work in Essex County, page 98, right? Yeah, I read that too. Were you going to plagiarize the whole thing for us? Do you have any thoughts of, of your own on this matter? Or do you, is that your thing? You come into a bar, you read some obscure passage, and then pretend you, you pawn it off as your own? Is your own idea just to impress some girls, embarrass my friend? See, the sad thing about a guy like you is in 50 years, you're going to start doing some thinking on your own, and you're going to come up with the fact that there are two certainties in life. One, don't do that. And two, you dropped 150 grand on an education you could have got for a dollar fifty in late charges at the public library. Yeah, but I will have a degree, and you'll be serving my kids fries at a drive through on our way to a skiing trip. <laughs> Yeah, maybe. Yeah, but at least I won't be unoriginal. <laughs> <laughs>